it is, guys, the Can-Am Spider. And this one's the RT Limited. Absolutely amazing machine. This one's fully loaded, so you've got the full gauge, just like you would see on your sleds. All your hand controls on the side. Shifting up, down, really easy with your thumb. You've got a fully adjustable windshield, it's all electronic. So you just push the button, it goes up and down. All your stereo controls here with built-in speakers everywhere. I mean, this thing is absolutely fully jammed. It's awesome. Fully independent suspensions up front, lights everywhere. All right, guys, we're just at the uh, Team Vincent uh, Motorsports open house today, and I am getting the awesome opportunity to uh, try out some of the Can-Am uh, Rikers and Spiders today. I've got, uh, you know, experience with motorcycles in the past, but I've had no experience whatsoever with um, with these new uh, style bikes. So we're gonna get out, go for a quick rip, and uh, show you guys what these machines are all about. It's certainly a, a wicked alternative to uh, to motorcycles, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Phil gave me a kind of a, a full overview on how to run them, and I'm excited to, uh, to try them. So let's give it a go. Just a beautiful fall day here, guys, in uh, Air, Ontario. I'm absolutely stoked I get to try the, uh, I'm on a Can-Am Riker for a demo today. So we're trying to bring some different stuff to the channel, which has been awesome, and that's been, uh, you know, thanks to Team Vincent Motorsports and my local dealership here, uh, you know, giving us uh, this opportunity really to try some different things, right? Absolutely, we are addicted to sledding, but hey, maybe we can get addicted to Rikers and get back into some road riding. I certainly miss it. Uh, you know, I, I used to run Harleys for quite some time and had a lot of fun, uh, a lot of fun with those. Man, this Riker is awesome. Beautiful machine, really easy to run, super smooth. This is a 900cc twin, four stroke. And once you learn how to ride them, they're really, really simple. You get really, they corner and handle super nicely. Little S band here. Really takes no rider input whatsoever just to, uh, just to control these. Just amazing. All right, what's going on guys? I'm here with uh, Phil from Team Vincent Motorsports and I finally get the opportunity to do a ride on the uh, Can-Am Riker and we've got a Can-Am Spider. Uh, these are great, great models. Um, just had a chance to kind of take it down the road to get a feel for it. Um, really, really cool machines. I'm used to, to driving Harleys, and really this is a great alternative, I think, for anybody um, you know, who wants to get into uh, probably something that's a little bit safer, a little bit more stable. Um, I was really impressed, actually, just coming down kind of the first road at how easily they handle, how easily they are to, uh, to operate, and uh, really smooth, like even over the bumps. Just a really, really cool vehicle overall. So we're gonna take you guys along and we're gonna do kind of a quick little uh, demo ride today with Phil. We're out in the beautiful uh, country here, just close to Air, Ontario. And um, yeah, come along and we'll, uh, let's hit the road. We'll just wait for the cars to go here and then we'll get going. And just like that, you're off. So. This uh, Can-Am Riker, I believe, is a 900cc uh, motor. And uh, really, really quiet, very, very smooth. And I guess when you get on these things, so I just wanted to sort of get used to it down the road a little bit, but uh, you kind of got to get used to the handling. It's a very, very tight uh, steering. And they go, I mean, this thing's definitely got some jam. I was actually quite surprised. The 
so it took me a few minutes just to get uh, used to it. I haven't been on a bike in some time, so um, I, I would really, really enjoy having one of these. It's a lot of fun. They handle great. I mean, I'm taking it easy, obviously, just because I'm getting used to it, but... Really, really stable in the corners, obviously, right? That's probably the big difference, you know, compared to... Uh, compared to a bike, but I used to love the motorcycles and rode Harleys for quite some time. I was into the sports stores for a bit, but... You know, since these have come on the market, I've certainly seen them all on the roads, and... Um, Definitely a nice alternative to uh, to a bike for sure. I love the seating position on this one. This one's really sporty. Kind of reminds me of my Harley Sportster when I moved the the drag bars forward. You know, these are fully adjustable bars and um, just overall really really comfortable. beautiful fall day here. Phil's got all these back roads. He knows exactly where to go for these demo rides. Get some nice elevation here. That's yeah, funny. I've always seen them at the dealership, but I never really thought about like actually trying one. Probably great for spring, summer, fall riding. So don't know too much about them, but certainly going to learn more as we go here. Nice, easy, simple heads-up display. I mean, it's pretty, this one's pretty basic compared to the one that Phil's riding. So Phil's on a Spider GT, and that one's fully loaded. So, I mean, if you're going, if you're going, uh, you know, for a longer period, the longer ride, you can really take lots on, uh, on that with you. And we'll get into it a bit there. So that one's nice, you know, it's got all the storage, basically just like a big Harley, uh, kind of reminds me of like a Road King version, right? It's got all the storage, it's even got a hitch on the back, so you can, you know, probably tow, uh, tow lightly with it. So I'm cruising here down the back roads at about 80 kilometers an hour, and I mean, this is like, I mean, this is like nothing, it's just beautiful. You can see how tight that steering is. That's just a little bit of input, and they, uh, you know, they go. So you, you really do got to take some time to get used to it. So the seating position on this one, I mean, you're kind of in the bike, and I, I, I see on the uh, on the Spider, you're you're sort of more like an ATV sitting on top of it. This one's a little more it's sort of low to the ground, aggressive stance. I mean, the suspension's fantastic. Even just some of the little bumps on the road, you don't even feel it. I would imagine these are probably pretty easy in terms of maintenance, you know, if they're anything similar to the sleds. Uh, very easy on fuel. Just enjoying a nice bluebird day here on the road. I gotta tell you, I gotta hand it to KM and BRP. I mean, they are just doing everything, all kinds of cool stuff. It's not just the sleds. I mean, we're really excited about being able to try some of the other uh, vehicles that they've got. I mean, from the Rikers to the Spiders. Hopefully I can try an ATV this year, see what that's all about. I've got buddies who are definitely loving the ATVs. All right, coming to a stop here. Just fantastic, I love it. Just like the RT. Both are fantastic and just a ton of fun. And away we go. 
Yeah, I love this Riker. This is definitely sort of like mean and aggressive. Very different uh, in comparison to the Spider. Both just fantastic bikes. It's amazing how easy they are to operate once you get the hang of it. And really just a completely different experience for me to try and uh, I, I thought I'd driven everything with a motor but then Team Vincent Motorsports convinces me otherwise <laughs> absolutely blown away didn't think I'd like it as much as I do but you know I kind of miss my motorcycle so what a great alternative for uh, for riding plus the beauty too is I mean you're gonna get you know, you're going to get a lot of use out of them because you can basically run it all year long. Just following Phil back into the dealership here, which kind of concludes my uh, first Riker and Spider ride ever. Big shout out to uh, Team Vincent Motorsports. Thank you guys so much for giving me this opportunity. Definitely get into your uh, BRP dealers and check these things out. They're super cool. If you like that video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Sled Addicts YouTube channel, where we release content on everything snowmobiling. Also, hit that bell icon so you can be updated every time we release new videos.